Darnell Wilson chose the wrong place to commit a crime. He'll soon be on a prison bus heading for a lifetime behind bars on a shoplifting charge. I think that they should have to do quite a bit of time, but I don't know about life sentence. But Mississippi is far less tolerant than some places when it comes to repeat offenders. Down here, it's three strikes and you're out for good. No matter the crime, if you have the three felonies prior and you come here and commit another felony, you're going to life in prison in this state. The road to Wilson's life sentence begins here at this coal store in South Haven. Employees reportedly spotted him shoplifting and called police. Store surveillance cameras caught him in the act. Police narrowly escaped injuries. He got away, speeding down crowded Goodman and Airways roads during rush hour before officers finally stopped him. Police found stolen items in his car, charged him with three felonies, and then learned about his long record in Tennessee. In this particular case, Darnell Wilson, between 1985 and 2009, had 18 arrests, 10 convictions, four felonies, and six prior felonies that were reduced to misdemeanors to make up his 10 convictions. Somebody, he should have learned by then. So police and prosecutors made an example out of him, hoping to send a message to other criminals and the public. So before they come to Mississippi, they think about it, and that keeps crime away. Does that make you feel safer? It makes me feel a lot safer. The message is very simple. You know, if you're going to commit felonies, you better keep your stupid self in the state to let you get away with them.